Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to take a ZBrush mesh and put it into Marvelous Designer and we're going to simulate it as if it was a garment created in Marvelous. Um, I hear you say, but why do this? So a good reason for doing this, we could, for example, have two base meshes, one a muscular character, one a very skinny character, and we can take a clothing item, which you've created from either mesh, and place it over the top and simulate it in Marvelous, which will just form to the body a bit more better than if you were just trying to place it. Um, another reason for doing this, if you're like myself, I quite like making my uh, clothing items in ZBrush so quickly sketching out in ZBrush then whacking it into Marvelous just simulating and then bringing it back and it will form to the mesh a bit better so anyway let's get started uh, enjoy so here we are in ZBrush and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly extract out a, uh, a top for this guy so we can put it into Marvelous. So, so I just extracted it, I did it earlier so um, so I wouldn't have to do it on here. So what we can do is delete hidden and we'll just do a quick Z remesh on it. worried about how um, how this comes comes out because it will uh, when we put it into marvelous designer it should conform to the sculpt a bit better to the to, to the mesh sorry So now what we're going to do, just one more set remesh, and we're going to export this, let's just make sure groups is turned off, we're going to export this into um, Marvelous, so chess v2 low poly, <clears throat> and now we're going to jump into Marvelous Designer. So I've already imported my uh, my base mesh and uh, another part as well. I'll explain this bit in a minute, so don't worry too much. So to get a uh, OBJ into Marvelous, uh, so you can simulate it, we're going to go to File, Import, Add, OBJ to Garment, and select the one that we had always choose that studio and then I'm just going to whack a colour on there so we can just see it so as you can see this was the garment that we had in, um, in ZBrush so now what we can do we just simulate it 
there we go it's kind of just worked as if it's if it's cloth which is pretty cool <laughs> so now what we can do um, this belt thing that I I had done earlier if we hang on because that is going to clip So what I done with um, this this object here was I set the layering to one, so this will be over the top of the garment. So if we now unfreeze this and simulate, you can see it's kind of gone over the top. So if we just get rid of all the pins. Now it's kind of put this belt around it so we can just pull it in until we think it it's how you kind of want it. So we can, we don't have many options um, doing this way. So for example, we don't have the the OBJ in the actual um, the um, previewer, um, and we can only do like a certain amount of things. So we can kind of change the type of fabric it is. It doesn't have the best give the best options so it is literally pure purely to um, just simulate meshes but it can come very handy when if you have a, an object that you've already created in Marvelous and you want to change uh, do like a bigger body shape you can, for example, in the games industry, like you would have like a skinny body and then a, a bigger body, um, and then you can just take the clothing that you've done for the bigger body, and put it onto this smaller body, and it kind of just goes over the forms. Um, another example I can quickly show you here. Let's just to show you another example, so what I've done, I've imported a, a base mesh as well as a, a, a clothing item that was not built for this mesh at all. Uh, so doing that again, was going File, Import, Add, OBJ to Garment, and I've just whacked on a, a colour again. So if we just simulate, you can see the mesh just goes follows the form of the avatar and we can move move the mesh around if it was uh, a simulated cloth it's now back to the other model So anyway, we can take this mesh and select it, and we can export it back into um, ZBrush. Just sim. Thin weld, and we'll set it to DAS again. And if we jump back into ZBrush, imports, 
chest simulation. Now it is going to bring your mesh in triangulated, um, but what I tend to do is after is just to do a zero mesh on it. So it's this one. As you can see, it's like it has moved. So if we double side this so we can see the bits at the back as well. And then just run a Z remesh on it. Uh, we'll set it to three, I think. And now we have our simulated cloth. I hope you liked the tutorial and uh, give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. Cool. Thanks, bye.